Hello, Morgan Knoll here with Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. This is a 2023 Logan Coach Bullseye two horse bumper pull. So really neat little compact trailers, empty weight on it, it's only 2,800 pounds. So your bigger SUVs, smaller trucks, just always double check your tow rating, make sure you can haul something like this. But having this smaller size, definitely gives you more options when it comes to tow vehicles. But we'll go ahead and get started over here on this trailer. So we've got our two and five sixteenths inch ball hitch, safety chains, battery breakaway, and then our manual crank jack. Right now I've got it plugged into our battery pack so you can see how the lights work on it. So in order to run the lights and operate them, you're either gonna have to be plugged into an external battery source of some sort. So whether it's a tow vehicle, you have or if you get a battery installed on this unit. We got a silver exterior color on this one. So a nice little difference from just white and matches a lot of vehicles very nice. But up here on our front tack room, we've got our swing out saddle rack. So right now we've got the two tiers on it, but as you can see, we've got the capabilities of getting you two more. So if you have more saddles and horses you're hauling like I do, um, being able to add those additional ones helps out big time. Or if you wanted to adjust them to different heights, you could do that as well. So then these just swing back in, they're on a gas shock. So that's just gonna stay in that position when you're traveling. And they're really nice to get in and out. And that way, you know, being able to have this swung out and just put your saddle up on there and then close it, you're not having to walk up into the tack room potentially trip and fall like I do often because I'm talented some days, um, but it's just really nice to have. Right there on the tack door, you'll see a window, get you some ventilation in there. You got those sweaty horse blankets, that musty smell, get some ventilation going. And then down below, we've got our brush box. So brush box, me personally, I always keep my easy to grab stuff in there that I use often. So my brushes, hoof pick, fly spray, liniment, all of that stuff I put in there and that way it's easy to access and get to. Looking in the tack room on the left hand side, we've got a 35 gallon water tank. So having that water tank, being able to bring your own water from home, make sure your horses are continuing to drink on the road. That's a big one for me, making sure they're getting their fluids, preventing colic and stuff. So having that water tank helps out big time being able to do that. And then if you're in the case of an emergency situation and you're stranded somewhere, you at least know you have water for the horses and yourself and other animals that you might have with you. So then on that partition wall, we've got our blanket poles. And this blanket pole actually unhooks here, maybe, there we go, and swings. So if you have that saddle rack swung out, I'll actually show you this real quick. Some people like to swing this this way and out of the way over here. So you have that capability of doing that with it being able to swing around and then just being able to layer pads on here makes it a lot easier than trying to sneak by the carpet and everything's getting caught. So then up there in the tack room on that partition wall, we've got our bridle hooks going all the way across with the carpet down below. So that carpet's gonna help prevent some of that swishing and swaying the bridles will do in transport and in turn keep your bridles in better condition and then keep your trailer in good condition too. So then down on the floor there, you'll see our battery breakaway box. And then we also have our spare tire and that's a full size spare tire, 15 inch matching aluminum rim. And then those are nitrogen filled tires as well. So having that nitrogen, you're gonna run a little bit cooler they're not going to get up to temp as much. Um, they're going to stay steadier on their PSI level too. So having that steadiness, you're not going to be getting that fluctuation. You know your tires are going to be good to go. And then if you're in the case of losing air in one and you got to shoot some, or losing nitrogen, I should say, in one and you got to shoot some air into it to get to where you're going, you can do that and it's not going to affect anything. So and up above, we've got an LED light. So. Having lights when it's dark outside is really nice to have. So you've got one on each side of this trailer. And then down below, we've got our bus windows. So these open up part way, and that way you can maximize airflow or pick and choose how much airflow you wanna to give to those animals back there. And then we've got a couple ties there. 
and those are into the frame so horse is going to have to pull back pretty hard in order to get this off most likely they're going to break that if they pull back that hard but they're easy to replace so really nice to have two and then down below we've got two 3500 pound dexter torsion axles and then your 15 inch aluminum rim so logan coach trailers they're a galvanized steel frame aluminum sheeting combo so having that galvanized steel you're getting that sturdiness and that toughness of the steel but then having the aluminum sheeting, you're getting the light weight of it. So only 2,800 pounds empty, you're gonna be able to, you know, tow this around pretty easy, depending on your tow vehicle. But we've got our 50-50 door opening. So those open up, you can open one at a time if you wanted to, if you got seasoned haulers that just load on in, um, just open the one side door and get them in there. Or if you need the full space, you can get them both open. This trailer currently does not have a ramp on it, but that's something our service department would be able to easily install for you. Um, we get it from the manufacturer and then put it on here. So another LED light up above. And then coming up in here, we've got our padded divider. And the nice thing about these bullseyes, the feature they come with, you're gonna have this telescoping divider. So these bars right here, pull this pin up and then push that in and that shrinks the size of that divider so that you are able to come over here and hook it onto the side and get it out of the way. So if you need to haul a horse that's a little more afraid of tight spaces, you can have that open. Or if you got to haul furniture, bikes, something like that, you have that capability of getting it out of the way. And then another big one for me with being able to get it out of the way, you don't have that possibility of a horse catching a hip on it. So when you're out all the way, horse were to go backward and then come forward they're going to grab it and pull it with them and then you're going to have issues with horses pulling around <laughs> and um, you know how trailer loading goes so we like to keep it as simple as possible for the horses and then up above on the heads you've got roof vents so those push forward and push backward so push them forward they're going to help drag that air in push them backward help drag that air back out and keep that airflow going over the horse's head and backs and then over on the right hand side, you'll see a couple LED lights. So interior lights as well. So loading up in the dark is gonna be a lot easier having the lights. And then underneath the floor or underneath these mats, the flooring on this one, we've got our wood plank flooring going across and that's covered in Logan's Vortex coating. So Vortex coating is kind of like rhino lining. You're gonna be more heat resistant to dents and cracks. And then it's also gonna prevent any kind of liquids from seeping into that wood and warping it faster. So these floors are gonna last quite, quite a bit of time, just having that extra layer of protection over top of them. So the nice thing about these Logan doors that they do, right now, I'll actually, I'll shut this one up real quick and then I'll show you over here, but here's your light controls. So you've got your interior and exterior light controls are right here on the rear. But what I was gonna show you with the doors, you've got two different options to keep them open. So if it's a super windy day and you're trying to load horses by yourself, you don't have anyone to hold doors open for you. Having this latch system right here lets you or allows you to open this door and keep it solid open. And that way the wind's not gonna be grabbing it, slamming it shut on you. Or like today, it's not very windy at all. We've got this little rubber piece right here and this other little piece. And that actually closes in here and I'll show you real quick how that works and it just grabs and suctions it. And so right now that's all I need to do because the wind's not blowing too bad. But if the wind were going pretty good, I come over here to this little metal piece and then I would push this into place. And that makes that door, I mean, I'm shaking the trailer, just moving that door right there. So being able to latch these doors open helps out big time. So you got one on each rear door and then you got one on the tack room door as well. So then over here on the head side of the trailer, we've got our drop down windows on both stalls. So the drop downs, they do pop into place. So they're not going to be sitting there slapping against the trailer as you're driving. And then in the drop downs, we've got these little bus windows. So get those bus windows open, get some airflow in the winter ventilation, but you don't want them to get too cold with the drop down. Being down, you can just open up this little window and call it good there. So then we have our jail bars that come down as well. So jail bars open up. That's a really nice feature for me because I like to offer water on the road when I'm going far distances or if it's really hot out. 
So being able to bring this down, push a bucket up in there and see if they want to drink with it just makes it easier than having to go through back of the trailer, unload horses, risk someone getting loose, not wanting to load back up, stuff like that. So just having that feature helps out big time. And then you do have the mesh sheets that come on these as well. Those mesh sheets, they're gonna help prevent some rocks and bugs and stuff from hitting your horses in the face and keeping them more comfortable while you're driving. And something I really love about these framed in Logan windows. So they're framed in, they're heavy duty, but they're also all one handed. So if you've got a bucket, you got a hay bag, whatever you've got on your arm, you can get this down with one hand for both of them and then be able to offer. So everything's one handed and it's down lower too. So that I had a customer point this out the other day. They really liked how they could grab all the way down here because they were a bit shorter than I am. And so I can grab kind of at any spot because I'm tall enough, but for someone that's smaller, being able to grab down lower and still get this window open is a big one. And then being able to grab down lower here and get that open helps out big time. So really nice window set up and they are framed in. So you're looking at a very sturdy window right there. So this trailer, we're gonna be sitting at seven feet tall. We're sitting at six feet, nine inches wide. And then on the floor length is gonna be 13 feet, two and a quarter inches. And that on the floor length starts at this tip of the nose right here behind your um, structure right there. But this is a 2023 Logan Coach Bullseye, two horse bumper pull. So it'll come with an eight year structural warranty, two year hitch to bumper warranty. So fantastic warranties on these trailers as well. If you have questions on this trailer, any other trailers you see on our lot or on our website, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you can call or text me at my cell phone and that's 970-218-5996. You can call me at my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or shoot me an email and that's at morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N dot null, K-N-O-L-L -L, at transwest.com. You can click the link below here. It'll take you to our website to see this trailer in our inventory and then you can also browse our new and used inventory on there as well. So please don't hesitate to reach out. I look forward to doing business with you and hope you have a great day.